this will work and connecting. There she is. Good. Oh my God. I love that color on you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Where are you tuning in from? Are you in New York City right now? I'm in New York City. So I apologize if there's any honking. I'm outside. So uh, just, you know, if there's any honking, I apologize. But it is New York. So, you know, it right? is. It is. You're in Brooklyn, well, right, Christy? Yes, I'm in Williamsburg. And I'm in my home yeah. office because I don't know if it's going to rain or not. But I actually thought about sitting outside. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll just stay inside. Today. Yeah, it might <laughs> rain on me, but who cares? <laughs> I love that. How are you? How's your week going? Really good. It is really good. I can't complain. Um, just, you know, living the dream every day, trying to stay focused and motivated on my purpose and vision. And speaking of that, I would love for you to share a little bit about who you are, what lights you up, and then we'll roll into some questions. Absolutely. So I'm Marcel. Um, I'm one of the owners or co-founders rather of Lifestone. So it's me and my husband. And, um, after starting Lifestone and really finding my passion and finding my calling, um, I, I just really started to live. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I was in such a, in such a rut and I, I wasn't living life for myself. I was living life in a victim mentality. And now that I'm in more in control of different areas of my life, such as career, I can just take ownership and apply that to all areas of my life. And I just really love inspiring people because I see myself in, in other people and I, I know how hard life can be. Um, so the idea or rather the concept of Lifestone, the reason why it's called Lifestone is because it, it's uh, about crystals, but it really helps you with areas of your life, everything pertaining to life. So whether you need more balance, intuition, um, success, wealth, happiness, and it really, it's all about personal development. So a lot of people will look at crystals and, and see them as, you know, uh, useless objects. But the real goal with Lifestone is to really make crystals more acceptable to uh, and understandable because some people see them as strange and they're, I, I really see them as plants or fresh flowers in your home. And, and I really love that more people are being aware about them now. I love that. So can you share how you first got introduced to crystals and the healing? Um, I personally, like they're everywhere in my house <laughs> and a lot of them have come from you. Um, and I just love like the energy that I get from them. So what drew you to crystals in the first place? Oh, wow. Well, that's a good question. I, I have been into crystals for as long as I can remember, probably a child. Um, I really got into them when I was like maybe 15. And I actually still have crystals from when I was 15. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, they, they're really beautiful because they, they really hold on to your um, energy and they're more like memory conductors and energy conductors. So the way that I use them is I use them as a boost and a, a, a way to trigger me and remind me to stay on track because I'm sure when you go out, um, there's things that trigger you negatively, you know, someone's energy, uh, maybe someone says something to you, or just going on the subway can be draining. So it's really to combat all of the negativity that we have to face every day. And just simply carrying a crystal, giving it a specific meaning, it, it really focuses you in on what truly matters to you. I love that. What you focus on, because what you focus on is going to grow. So um, they're, they're really mind tools. And I've seen so much so much success from them and, and uh, they've helped me so much. It's really like a partnership when you look at them. I love that. So I, I'm still learning every day about crystals, but what I love about the messaging that you send with your gifts and especially the candles that there's a mantra attached to each one, you have this beautiful way of following up with people and seeing how they're doing, have they noticed any changes? So I absolutely love that. So can you share how you have pivoted or has anything changed in your messaging or marketing during the pandemic since everything basically now has to be online since we can't meet like how you and I met at Equinox one day randomly and I was like, 
this is my soul sister. We have to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. And yeah, absolutely. I, we had a great connection when we met and I feel that, you know, once you align with your true self and you start living for you and not for others and you start to really embrace authenticity you're going to start to attract your people your places your experiences and you're not gonna because when you become someone that you're not and you put on a mask not a physical mm -hmm. mask like, like we're wearing but right. a facade on you're you're going to attract things that aren't meant for you because you're not your natural self. So something that I, that I'm really focusing on for my own mental health, especially during this time, but really all times, the, the thing that's really special about this time in life right now with COVID and everything going on. I mean, 2020 vision is true. It's, it's really an awakening and it's exposing so much, um, fakeness within ourselves within life that we yeah. need to really focus on because when we're in the hustle and bustle of life right moving um working constantly now we really have a time to sit still face ourselves and really realize that hey i'm not a i'm not being puppeteered i'm the captain of the ship that is my life and as soon as you start to realize that hey i'm the one in charge and you begin to take responsibility for your life and you don't dwell on the past or blame others or live in this victim mentality because right now we can make excuses. Hey, look at what's happening with the world. Like I'm just gonna lay in bed all day, right? But you really have to think about perspective. And I feel that for me right now, I'm, I'm really trying to appreciate the present time because I know that there's not gonna be another time like this. And there's beauty in the present and there's power in the present because it's, it's really the only powerful time that you have. You can't control the past, you can't control the future. But um, in terms of your question, how to cope with everything going on i feel that it it in a way it's no other than it's no difference than any other time in life because yes there are additional uh struggles you know being that we have to social distance and of course economic tr uh, struggles businesses being closed and and everything happening so quickly um it, it can be a very traumatic experience and, and uh, feel as though there's so much uncertainty, but life is uncertain, you know, and, and there's a lot of beauty in the unknown. This is the perfect time to reinvent yourself, guys. And I'm, I'm looking back in the beginning of 2020, my personal growth and just my personal awareness and how much I've learned about myself is accelerated. Um, I don't know if it's because of like, just, uh, you know, adversity, right? But adversity helps us grow. And it actually, it accelerates us to a point where like, we're even stronger. So you know, it's all about seeing the positives. It really is. Yeah. I love it's about that. <laughs> it is about mindset. So what was the thing that triggered you to be like, okay, these are my beliefs. This is how I really want to show up in the world. And you came up with this incredible business. Um, the products, by the way, guys, if you haven't tried them, the candles are sensational. The crystals on another level, beautiful. I don't use any other thing but the soaps that you have. And then uh, I just ordered some of the bath salts. So you do have to go to at Lifestone USA and check out all of the cool stuff. And I've used them as gifts as well. Um, what was that switch that flipped like? I love crystals and I want to help people. And how can I do that to create this business? Good question. So for me, I, I think when life starts to, to smack you in the face and say, Hey, I, I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone because you know, when, when things happen to you, right. When you, you've had enough at your job or you've had enough of just being mediocre and just okay. And just, um, bored right like you have that feeling that hunger of like i want to i want to be the best person i don't want to shrink myself because i always knew and i feel like everyone knows their fullest potential and they they can feel that oh i'm not meant for this my spirit is so much bigger than this and you know so many people and i i included i was really identifying myself 
with the money I earned, with my paycheck, with my career choice. And I'm so much bigger than that. And I, to define, I always say to define is to limit. And I always think if you're really attaching yourself to the job and you're actually making yourself smaller, like, well, you know, this is, this is all I am or or it's because of my job that I'm being hold back, held back, or it's because of my gender, or it's because of my ethnicity, things like that, or my age, you know, like some people say, well, oh, I'm too old to start a business, or I'm too young to start a business, I'm not experienced yeah. enough, you know, and really, the bottom line is, is shifting to an empowered, positive mindset, where you believe in yourself, and you realize that not everything that occurred made you who you are today. And I, an affirmation that I love is I am grateful for all in my life and all that is yet to come. And it, it kind of symbolizes the, the saying that, you know, everything happens for a reason, because what is the point to dwell on things that you can't control? And once you realize that you're going to put all your energy into what you can control, that's when life starts happening and really shifting for you. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay. So I would be raising Sorry my I'm hand, shouting, by the way, that's okay. <laughs> no, you're I'm not. Outside, so, you know, no, it's perfect. <laughs> so I will be the first to be vulnerable, raise my hand that for the last 15 years, I, I, I have identified myself with the income I make, the type of job that I have, my level of busyness, like I'm a busy medical device sales rep that runs around the country, but I try and fit in fitness and nutrition and all the other things. And it's incredible when I feel like I'm divorcing or breaking up with that person of 15 years. And I'm now like fully and wholeheartedly stepping into who I know I am, who I can be, who I want to grow into. So what are some of the things that you do on a daily basis? Do you have a morning routine or is there something that you do every day to strengthen that belief in yourself? Absolutely. I, I, I tell myself in the morning every day in the mirror. So I do mirror work and I say, who do I want to be today? Because as much as I love morning routines, I really believe in variety and also um, really not feeling like life is a chore you know, and whenever I'm, I'm doing things that I don't enjoy, I, I ask myself, well, why am I doing this? Am I a slave to, am I a prisoner to my mind? And, you know, I, I, I know there's a lot of videos that will suggest things, but in the end of the day, you really need to see, okay, what am I going to do today that is going to make me be the best version of myself? And really, that, that comes with a little bit of time to really understand your intuition and, and your self-awareness and realize that the ball is in your court. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to, like the other day, I was going to do all these things. And, and like you said, right, we, we base our worth on you know, our busyness, our productivity and things like that. Well, I want to compete with this person. And, you know, competition is really the thief of joy. I always say that it's a thief of joy. The only person you can compete with is the yesterday you if you wanted to do that. But the yesterday me and me today, I can I can alter myself and I can change things that I don't like. And things that I see with a lot of people speaking with people coaching people is that they don't want to detach to things that they don't like, because they identify with it. And because they just feel like it's it's impossible to stop. Well, you know, like, for instance, they say, um, you know, I always argue with my loved ones, and it, I'm just very argumentative. And, um, and I say, well, you know, why is that? And, and you, it, it's all about being in control of your thoughts, being in control of the choices that you make and, and under and understanding that it's okay to let things go and detach and reinvent yourself. But um, yeah, for, for me, I love to paint. I love to dance. Mm -hmm. Dancing is so important, especially since I did have, um, I am hypermobile. So I, I did have a little bit of um, a hip injury where, not really an injury, but like um, muscular skeletal injury, 
but it, it has recovered. But I did have that. And it actually led me to my love of massage and, and even cemented more my love for crystals. Because when you're dealing with health, you can manifest a lot of illness, you can manifest a lot of problems with oh, your yeah. thinking too and and it's such an important you know you in the medical field i'm sure you understand that mindfulness and it, it has such an effect on your body mind and body connection and spirit connection so for me i love to i love to journal i love to really um leave one hour in the morning as soon as i wake up to figure out how my day is going to go and plan it because without a vision you're just going to kind of let someone else, you know, take control yeah. or your past self take control. So I think it's really important to have the first hour of your day be for planning your day or however much time you need. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, we're like phones in a way, like 100% charge in the day, at least for me, my, my most primal time is in the morning. And then by the end of the day, I, I get depleted with my energy. So I think owning your mornings, is really important. I agree. Like for me, my morning routine, I do not pick up my phone for at least the first 30 to 45 minutes that I'm awake. The only time I touch it is to turn the alarm off. And then that's it. Like there is no like, let me respond to all these messages. Let me get on social media. Let me see what's going on in the world. Like I need that first 45 minutes to journal, meditate. I always have my crystals with me. My candles always lit. Um, whenever I take one of my online classes, I always have my crystals surrounding my computer and my candle going. But for me, my mornings get me to a place of grounded. So if there are little, you know, sidetracking moments with especially, you know, if I have to deal with some hospital things, or some other things pop in, I'm like, okay, I can breathe through this. It wasn't on the plan for the day, but it's okay. And then it also gives you the opportunity to like learn, okay, maybe I didn't plan enough, or I didn't do enough to actually incorporate some time for this, that and the other. Um, the other thing that I do for 30 minutes, every single day, I have what I call the me zone, no computer, no phone, 30 minutes, I either just sit and breathe, pick up my book and read, but that's it. So that's like how I try and keep myself recharged. And then of course, you know, try to move my body once a day, put really high quality nutrition in there. So for you, where do you see the second half of 2020 for yourself and for your business going? Oh, wow. Um, I, I, hmm. Well, I do have a lot of goals that I have written down for myself, and I have a lot of personal goals. Um, and just, I guess, to be, I guess, general about it, I want to I wanna really get to the level of just being, just being more of myself. I, I really don't know how to say it anymore, because... The thing about being laser focused too is that sometimes you can have tunnel vision and miss out, you know? Yeah. So I just want to embrace myself and be like the purest form of myself because I think in the end of the day, when you know yourself, when you have ultimate self-awareness, that's, that's just perfect because then, then you're really living the life that you're meant to live. That's so and true. I know that's, you know, that's kind of a, an answer that's uh, vague, but um, I, I love that you mentioned about breath work because I do a lot of breath work and the bath salts that we have are designed for breath work. So we have a lot of new products coming out. Um, the newest product that we have is the, is the bath salts, but I take a lot of care developing them. I actually do it soup to nuts so like it's literally i choose the crystal i i choose the affirmation all the ingredients that go in there i use them um so if i don't love absolutely love them and use them constantly then they don't make the cut so for our bath salts they're really special because they're actually designed for breath work so when you use them you soak in the bath and you pour the salt in actually i'm gonna do a video on this and you place the crystal on your designated chakra 
So each bath salt has a different crystal that correlates to a chakra. And, you know, you'll put it, say, on your third eye for the blue lace agate. You'll soak there and you will breathe in the essential oil, aromatherapy. And it's Epsom salt with Himalayan salt. So a lot of magnesium. Magnesium is known to reduce stress. So I have been using it a lot, um, especially now. But, you know, anytime you need to just come home and relax and let go of the day and let it all go down the drain, you know, visualize the water going down the drain as things on your aura that you no longer want. So you could really use it in a visualization way and breath yeah. work. So they're really special. I'm really happy with them. Awesome. I love that. Well, I can't wait to see what new and exciting products you have coming out because I'm just obsessed and I've sent a bunch of stuff to my friends as gifts and I'm like, you guys have to get on board with this. <laughs> so I'm so, so grateful for you. Um, Thank you. So you, what do you. What do you do to kind of fuel your brain? Are you a big reader, podcaster? Like what are some of the things that you love to dive into? Absolutely. Um, Tony Robbins really changed my life. Um, getting into him uh, really changed my life. Um, that was when I was shifting, doing a lot of consciousness shifts and realizing that my thoughts are really having an effect on the way that I think, act, feel, and there you go, you know? So it's, it's, it's amazing how people, um, I guess, don't realize how powerful thoughts are. And a powerful and positive attitude will become a positive, powerful day, which becomes a positive, powerful week, which becomes a positive, you know, a, a whole life. So it really is about momentum. And learning is so important. And there's people out there that you can gain so much knowledge from and learn about yourself and hear stories that you can relate to and not feel alone, not feel like I'm the yeah. only one who wants to think that there's more to life than this, you know? And I was yeah. saying this to myself, sometimes I, I'll walk down the street and I can, I can feel like other people's energies and just feel like the despair. And, and I can see that, hey, like we're not on this earth to just wear a mask, wait online, go home, you know, watch Netflix. We're made for big <laughs> things. And I talk, yeah. I talk about this in my latest video on YouTube, but it, it's really about stopping to shrink yourself and realize that you're so much bigger because so many of us, we cheat ourselves. You know, we're, we're self-sabotagers. We, we cut ourselves short in life. So I, I think it's really important to, to know that you are an endless being that you have so much opportunity and it really starts and stops with your with your own beliefs and your own mindset. Yeah, I love that. So I'm a huge Tony fan as well. I've been to a couple of his events. And they were life changing for sure. So I'm a big podcaster. I love to read. I'm obsessed with Trevor Moad right now. He is um, the author of It Takes What It Takes. So if you're looking for a good book, I promise you, you will love it. It's all about neutral thinking and conscious competence. And it's about how you, the thoughts you think and the things you say and how negative things, 100% negative in, impact the way your day is going to go, how, the things that you can manifest. So I, I love that you're a Tony fan. That's so great. Uh, okay, so what would you say to your pre lifestone USA self now, what would be the advice you'd give that girl to my I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So what would be the advice that you would give to Marcel prior to her starting her business becoming, you know, super self aware? Like, what would you be your words of advice I to that girl? This, Christy, I love that question. I would say to listen to my own voice and, and not put other people on pedestals and not put opportunities on pedestals, not put anything on a pedestal, realize that I'm on the same level and know that I'm worth it. Because I feel like for me, I was struggling a lot with when you when you become your own boss, your brain is saying, you know, you're not enough. You're not worth it. 
you know, this is too hard because you're really getting out of your, you know, your amygdala is just going crazy. You're, you're really getting out of your comfort zone and all of these insecurities. So for me, I would tell Marcel, I would say, go for it. No risk, no reward. And, and be a hundred percent you all the time, because when you're lukewarm and when you're treading lightly in life, you're going to have that kind of lackluster results. So many people just put like 20% in, you know, effort. So I would say like, go full blast even more. And, and now I feel, I feel like so powerful because I accept everything. Like I, I, I know that in the end of the day, I'm, I'm the designer of my life and I don't, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's really about taking ownership. And I, I, I just want people to know that just because your life is a certain way right now, you can get out of it. And the, like Tony Robbins says, like literally like your life will change. <laughs> your life will change so much and you will be amazed and you'll be like, wow. I remember I saw a video. He said, uh, if you watch this video, um, you're going to be, you're going to be in after 30 days, you're going to be saying, Oh my God, it actually worked. And you know what, as long as you stick with it, like it really does work. It's all about your mindset guys. It really is. It's all oh about your God. mindset. I love this. All right. So where can we find you on social media, your website, all the things where oh, can yes. everybody that's been uh, watching or tuning in later to find you? Yeah. So our website is called uh, Lifestone USA. So it's www.lifestoneusa.com. And then I also have a YouTube channel called Lifestone TV. And then of course, the Instagram, you guys know it. And then we're on Twitter. Um, yeah. And then we, we sell nationwide as well. But you can order directly from our website too. I love that. Okay, you guys. So how powerful is this chick right here? I mean, she's an incredible entrepreneur, has the mindset of a rock star and continues to do the things every single day to keep that belief in herself going. And then she pours it into other people. I can't say enough about how beautiful your heart is. And I'm so, so grateful that we bumped into each other that day at the gym. It's been an incredible, incredible journey for you. And I know that you, the sky's the limit, right? The sky's the limit for you. So, uh, my beautiful friend, you one more well. question. You as well, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> so last question, I and I always, aw, so last question, um, and I always ask this, so I want you to picture yourself in a taxi, an Uber or Lyft, whichever one, and you're pulling up to your destination. And before you get out of the car, the driver turns around and says, excuse me, how do I become the happiest, healthiest, most confident version of myself? And you have 15 seconds to answer. Ooh, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot. I know. Okay. I love it. <laughs> literally have 15 seconds. Okay. I would say, I would say, uh, always listen to your gut. I would say that because even though a lot of times our emotions are wrong in the end of the day, you want to make your decisions for yourself and you don't want to feel like looking back. Oh, I, I, I should have listened to myself. So, but if you let me think about it longer, I might have a different answer, but I would say, <laughs> listen to your gut. What would you say? I usually say everything you have is already within you. You just have to allow it to come to the surface. I'll say that then. That's, that's <laughs> great. Yeah. Everything is within us. Everything yeah. is within us. And, and it's all about like breaking the barriers that we create, you know, and really? I love that. Absolutely. Well, I hope I get to hug you or see you at some point before, you know, <laughs> too much time goes by, but I'm so, so grateful for you and your time today. So you guys, please check out Marcel. Go to at Lifestone USA on Instagram. You can go to LifestoneUSA.com for her website. And then she also has Lifestone TV on YouTube. And this girl's going places, let me tell you. So I'm so grateful for you, my dear. Have a beautiful day, everybody. I hope you get to move your body the best way you know how. Fuel it with some incredible nutrition. I can help you with that. And then always, always, always do that thing that makes your soul sing because this girl does it every single day. <laughs> Thank you All so right. much. You had a lot of fun. Me Bye. too. Bye guys.